And now we are going to change the analysis settings under static structural. What we are going to change here is we are going to change the way ANSYS handles our applied load. We are going to subdivide our load into smaller pieces because this helps ANSYS in converging the solution. Convergence issue in contact mechanics arises due to the boundary nonlinearity. In other words, the boundary nonlinearity is basically the nonlinearity in the fact that the boundary conditions at the contact interface uh, changes throughout the loading process. More information on this is found in the pre-analysis. Okay, so we're going to click on auto time slipping and under this we're going to turn it on. And we see that these are now generated. Initial sub-steps, minimum sub-steps, maximum sub-steps. We're going to choose 20 as our initial. Now, this number basically needs to be above our minimum sub-steps and below the maximum sub-steps. This is kind of intuitive. We will choose 20 as well. And for maximum, we're going to allow ANSYS to go all the way up to, say, 500 sub-steps in case it's having difficulty in converging then it's going to go beyond our initial sub-steps of 20 into however many sub-steps it needs and under weak springs we're going to turn this option off and we leave everything else as it is.